I don't know how good you can hear me if the lens is fogging up. If it is, I apologize. Um, I'm just going to show you the house so you can see what we've got before the storm is about to make landfall in Wilmington, North Carolina. Just giving you kind of an update of what we've got going on. Uh, we've parked my truck out here. We've used this truck to try to block the wind off of the house. Um, as you can see, no major rivers or anything around us. We have our shelters over there. But like I said, there you know, winds of 100 to 140, uh, rain anywhere between 24 and 40 inches of rain. I don't know if anyone realizes how big that is. That's a lot of rain. Um, I suspect if, it, if the water comes up, it's going to come up right here all out in the field in cow pastures just from previous experiences. But again, I'm just showing you what we've got before it comes so we have something to look at to compare it to. This is the one tree that stresses me out. Because if it falls, it has potential to fall in the house. So, but besides that, keep our community in your prayers um, as we see how this thing rolls out. Later, guys. So as you can see, guys, we're expecting power to be out for quite some time. So we've got water, 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 uh, drinks, uh, because they're expecting the power to be out anywhere between three days and a week, if not more, because of 40 inch. 40 inches of rain, so we'll see how it goes. We're right outside a flood zone. So we'll see how that goes. We have Grandma, the gracious, the gracious Grandma, who has been cooking nonstop to keep us fed because we are expecting the power to go out. So we will see how this goes. Anyway, guys, peace out. Keep us in your prayers, like I said. Bye. Parts of the community buried after a 10 foot storm surge. Okay, but this is from SeaTech. SeaTech said these out. This is also in Murrayville, as I showed you. but. Look at this tree. It missed the house. This people are. Newburn hit hard. Yeah. Ceilings caving in. This boat washing ashore. Torrent okay. still it's crawling across the Carolinas. <laughs> As people here begin to get a glimpse of the destruction left in the storm's wake. Okay, guys, so today is Friday uh, the 14th, and it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and we lost power last night about 2 o'clock, 2 30 in the morning. And so. The hurricane has arrived. We're still just in the outer bands of it, so you can see it's not too crazy yet. But the wind's starting to pick up. It start, it's been raining for about three or four hours. We've probably got gust about 50 or 60 miles an hour right now. And uh, yeah, we had to put a generator on just so we could have power to one room, but we'll see where things go from here. So anyway, into the next scene. So I don't know if you can hear me, but we're still about 20 hours away from it actually crossing across us. Um, so it's going to be super interesting to see. What we're really concerned about is flood waters. We've already got some roof in here. You can see off this secondary house that we have outside. And I know that you probably can't hear it because of the wind, uh, which I'll try to help you with the edit. But um, just stay tuned and we'll see where things go. I'm going to go back inside and wait until it gets a little rougher. Uh, and there'll be updates. I'm going to show the... Um, when we get in the eye of the storm, I'm going to ride around the neighborhood and show that. So. As you can see, it's getting much worse. I do believe the metal right there is about to peel up. The other barn is now flapping right there, as you can see, at the back of it's peeling up. Oh, that's a strong wind. It's definitely getting stronger, so I'll keep you updated on that head back inside. All 
Okay, so now to rain, the second day in, starting to come through the windows because it's getting so rough outside with rain. So now the windows are leaking because the storm rotation is coming from that way, so it's coming in this way and driving all the water into the windows. So just another slight update, and we'll see where it goes. Okay guys, we're in the eye of the storm right now, so I don't know if you can hear me. As you can see, we've got debris slung all over the place. Uh, I'm starting to worry about some flooding going on back here, as you can see the water. Right there, starting to rise and come up, trees down everywhere. So it's going to be super interesting to see what happens. Um, I am going to take you over here and show you something very quickly uh, that I hope doesn't turn out to be a good thing. It is. Ooh, that rain is cold. We got more debris. Slung all over the place. Parts of the shelter being torn down. We've got out here. Trees are down, fig trees are down, metal's peeling off. So we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. Um, just, it's definitely a lot worse than we thought it was going to be. I'm more worried about the flood waters now. So we'll see what happens there. Because that'll take the next three or four days and we're still without power. Uh, almost 20 hours at this point. So all right guys so update we're on day two and a half or three without power i'm not sure at this point i don't really care i just want power but um i took a ride around the neighborhood forgot to grab my camera because i didn't know how bad it was going to be um but i've got some video footage on my snapchat story well the road is now flooded across holy crap this house is underwater yep this road will be overflowed very soon. <laughs> Me and Barry Kennedy to the rescue. Right there, save some lives. Save your lives during the hurricane. Trash bag, man. <laughs> Me and Barry. House is starting to go underwater right here, guys. Well, if I can get it to focus, I suck. Uh, they had a rough hundred trees are down there. Hey. Look at her house. Here's another. That's blue. Oh no. It's Kane's house. <laughs> Underwater. Yikes. Alright guys, Reese's Ferry Road, right here at SP Long Intersection. There's a tree down, so you might as well not even try that. That's a no-go right there, guys. Okay. There guys. <laughs> Me and Megan. So there you have it. There's some of the footage. I'm going to get some more. It's actually still raining outside. They're expecting the floodwaters to rise tonight and tomorrow. So we'll see what happens, but anyway, we'll just see where it goes. As I've said from the beginning to the video till now, it's not good. Uh, a lot more damage than I thought there was going to be, uh, and you can see. As you can see behind me, there is a tree blocking the road. They will not reopen this until cruising. And this is everywhere, all across North and South Carolina. Myrtle Beach didn't get hit quite as hard as they thought, but Wilmington and Landfall took pretty hard hits. So, but anyway. Okay, guys, so we're coming up on the bridge that is right here at the house on Seven Creeks, and I just wanted to show you some stuff real quick. You can see that the water is already coming up on the sides right here. They had to cut this tree out of the road because it fell across. So you can see there's a debris right here, but look at the rushing water right there. So I want you to see that because I've got a good feeling that tomorrow all this will be underwater, if not on Monday, as the waters continue to rise. So you're about to get to see the creek bridge um, right up here in the water, that how, how high it's already came up. As you can see, there's the bridge, there's the water. Don't stop the water. There's the water. We don't have but maybe two or three more foot. It's going to be up at the top of the bridge and overflowing. 
So I got a good feeling all this is going to be underwater. But again, you know, hopefully not. There you can see how close it is to the road already. It still has not quit raining. The Bronze Collector people came and fixed the power lines, but we still don't have power. And now the internet has gone out, uh, even with power with the generator on. I want to video this really quickly, guys. As you can see, this is what I think will flood. And our house is right through the wood, right through that gap there. So we're going to see if in the next couple days all this ends up flooding all out right here. So we'll see. As you can see, guys, the debris out there in the field coming off of this house right here that was destroyed by wind. So you got insulation all out of the yard. Bears trailer got absolutely demolished. So you can see guys it's actually got the power line pulled down into the tree and they still haven't got this and people have been driving around the corner of it like that's super dangerous super dangerous and they still haven't fixed this one yet a, a whole day after so we'll see another set of houses underwater good more houses underwater guys all of this look at all these houses this is in our neighborhood what road is this house MMA Road. MMA Road. MMA Road. MMA Road. MMA Road is underwater. Still coming down. It's still raining. This is day three of rain. Well, their house is out of it, but it's close. Coming up on them. A couple trees down in that yard as well. As you can see, the S curves are almost flowing across. This is the last time we come up here. It's running fully across right here. Straight through it. And then right up here, I'm going to show you this house is underwater. updated as much as we can. Today is Saturday. The storm came in Thursday night uh, and it's still raining. So that gives you an idea of how much it's raining. Here you go guys. You can see how high the water is in the river. Walkamore River. Walkamore River. There's the bridge. See it's not far from touching the bottom of the bridge. Right there. You see it. And again, the floodwaters haven't risen yet. So, again, day three, uh, and we've given the generator a rest. We don't want to run out the gas just in case the floodwaters get bad. But now we're having this struggle of dethawing the stakes. They're tearing all two pieces. It ain't that's cold, that's the thin. Thin stakes. Look out thin, that's like a pork chop steak. Eh. Times is tough. <laughs> but uh, anyway, at least we got some food to eat. As you can tell, I'm also starting to sound more and more sick every time I get on here. Uh, but I think it's just my allergies adding up from the humidity changes and pressure and stuff. So, we'll see. Anyway, I'll show you the end product of this food. Mm, guys, I got the camera shoved in my jacket right now. I'm walking so I can some real first person stuff right here so I can walk and talk I had to cover up the steaks with my hat alright so I told you I'd show you what we got we got some steaks some fries some drops out of the Yeti some barbecue sauce and this will be what we eat for today oh, we about it. pour that one first that's what's got a little bit in it So, 
I'm headed right here to my truck real quickly. I'm going to show you just how much the water has rose in that area I was talking about earlier in the cow pasture where I guesstimated it was going to flood and it's going to slowly creep up to the house. So we're about to see that in just a second. Okay guys, so this is the flooding that I was talking about that you're going to see. You'll see all of the flood waters as I'm coming up on it right now. I don't know if the camera's in focus or not, so I apologize. But this was the cow pasture that was not underwater at all right there. All the way the flood waters. And I, and I think it'll continue to rise. You can see it's in the road right here. But all this is going to be underwater. So just to put it in perspective, today is Sunday. We still don't have power. I know the wind's blowing so you might can't hear me. We still don't have power. And the water is supposed to be at its highest on Tuesday is a Tuesday. And the water has already flooded this whole field in one day. So you figure if it's going at that rate by Tuesday, I'm praying not, but I feel like where I'm walking right now, all of this is going to be underwater and it's going to be right behind our house. But we'll see how it ends up doing. Who knows? So you can see all of this. And we still have two more days for this to continue. Now let's, let's take a notice. None of this is underwater front part where the tree is down and slightly underwater. We'll see how this looks tomorrow. Alright guys, so on to our next update. As you can see, as I predicted, the water has now crossed the road up here. People are turning around or not going through it, scared of the high water. As you can see, it's come up on the road. It's completely flooded all of this. It's across the road. Uh, and we're going to see just how much it floods throughout the whole process. So I will keep you updated. As you can see guys, the water has now taken the whole tree. It has got all this underwater and it's still rising. There's poles, it's washed up, everything else. They're taking a boat. We got the National Guard going down there to check to make sure no one's hurt or trapped so just a lot going on so here we have my other grandpa's house that i wanted to check out uh today's the fifth day without power but we finally got it back this morning but just to show structural damage right here it almost fell on his house here's the tree he's definitely gonna have to submit a claim because it also completely destroyed his pool. Yikes. Very intense. Anyway, that's just some more of the damage, guys. Later. Just the, the mass amount of damage that has been done to this pool and this, this tree is massive to be snapped off at the area that it snapped off at. That's insane. It snapped the whole tree in half and brought it all the way down into the house, into the pool. And there's Millie. Hey, yeah, hey. As you can see, substantial, substantial damage. Guys, as you can see, the bridge here is completely flooded all this direction right here. So as you can see, downtown Whiteville is completely underwater. I'm here at the uh, car wash. You can see where the water starts. It comes all the way down and through. You can't even get even close to downtown Whiteville. Completely impassable. Insane. Alright guys, so we're going through downtown Whiteville and there is still no power five days after the storm, meaning there's no gas. Uh, it's still flooding. It still has not crested. Downtown Whiteville is completely underwater. Like there's no water. We have no power lines. So every intersection has to be treated as a four-way stop sign, as you can see. So. It's pretty, uh, 
it's pretty. I've never seen Whiteville this um, quiet as far as. I mean, this is insane. I, I may never see a storm like this again. So, but uh, we're headed back to the house now. Uh, to call it a day. We just want to see what how Whiteville was doing, which is the town that's closest to us. Anyway, guys, peace out. This is the road to our house. So we've been trying to find, there's a house in the water right here. We've been trying to find a way out of our neighborhood and it just ain't happening. Uh, today is day five after the hurricane and it is coming through. As you can see, it's, um, it's pretty, pretty substantial rain amounts. I know my lens is probably fogging up. I apologize for that. But I'm going to show you how strong the water is rushing across the road. So as you can see, I don't know if you can hear it, but you can see it. That's flowing pretty good. Right there, guys. So, there you have it, guys. Blowing pretty strong. Right this way. Crazy how much it's flooded. And we still haven't found a way out of our neighborhood, so who knows? We'll figure it out eventually. Okay, guys, just to give you an update on how much the water has rose, I'm going to show you this very quickly. Overnight, it rose, looks like two or three foot. I'm going to show you, and you're not going to believe how large it's got. I'm about walking into a spider web. Y'all probably seen that dodge. There it is in the field. Oh, let me clean the lens. Here it is, all in this field now. Remember this field? The water was only back there, and now it's all the way in this field. This bridge is about to be underwater. That's water on the AC unit. Yep, so we'll continue to see how much it's going to rise. Only time will tell. Check out this pot of fire ants, guys. You can see the water's rising up on the trailer. It's it's definitely becoming real. It's okay, guys. Sorry, this is day seven after the storm. Um, we've been so busy with everything, trying to clean everything up, that I I weren't able to video the. the water at its highest peak but it only raised about an inch from the last that you've seen at the trailer uh, the floodwaters are still up it's dumping into South Carolina now but just to sum up everything that happened through the whole storm I mean it was it was highly intense uh, between having tornadoes touch down all around the neighborhood uh, the amount of floodwaters that came after the storm surprised everybody uh, being displaced, uh, a lot of the areas that I go to on a regular basis, like the gym, uh, has been destroyed. There's a lot more serious things going on, a lot of people, but the biggest thing you need to take from this is our community came together, uh, helped everybody. Uh, we stayed on top of things. You know, we didn't suffer any casualties in our neighborhood, thank goodness. Uh, floodwaters did get some people, uh, houses that have never flooded. Uh, they said that it had been like a thousand year flood, uh, anywhere between 500 to a thousand year flood. Um, that's how high the water came. So, highly intense, very blessed that our house didn't get affected with the water. It did come up quite high uh, into our rental property. Um, but needless to say, I'm just happy that nobody got hurt uh, like our last incident. Um, so, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. I know it was extremely long, had a lot going on. There's a lot to film. I mean, it's over you know, a seven day span. Um, so, you know, it was, it was a very humbling experience, if nothing else. But now it's time to resume our normal lives and get back on the grind. So guys, appreciate it. Be blessed. Thank you so much. Bye.